the only crossing in Punta Gorda that has actually got a bigger upgrade from this to this. But we ain't going to go over the crossing info on this new upgraded crossing that was first built around between 2011 through 2014. We're talking about the crossing that lasted until around 2011 or probably a little after. So let's get started. So here we have the... Here we have a regular cantilever setup and a regular gate mast with only the signals, the gate mechanism, and the mechanical bell. No crossbuck, nor extra pair facing the east, like the like the base signals are. And another one that just that looks just like the one from Hanson Street. They used to have two, as a matter of fact, but one got taken down because I think it's because of Hurricane Irma this time, not Ian. They took the they took that cantilever down on Hanson back around 2017 or 2018. But yeah, that's kind of the similar or same cantilever setup as the one from Hanson. They now have one of them that has a quad lights on the base of the cantilever, so you'll you'll see the video of one of mine if you approach to it about Hanson Street cuz I do have one. But it might be on list right now, but I might release it soon. Or maybe I could just link it in the description, so. Alright, enough chit-chatting. Let's get on with the info. So, yeah, this is this used to be known as the CL Road 7, 765 Crossing. I don't know, it's just some... I don't know, I guess it's part of Journey Roads or something. I don't really know how to describe it words. But this is, this is the classic Jones Loop Crossing before it upgraded to this. Which, wow... That's how modern crossings are supposed to be for this generation of railroad crossings. You know what I mean. Alright, so. Let's start off with this north side of the cantilever. Nice beacons or whatever they are. The yellow flasher th signals. Yeah, they they don't actually fade. As a matter of fact, even though they kind of are incandescent, but the thing is they're non-fadeable. So, I, I think. I don't know. I've never seen them flash before, so. Sorry. All right, continuing. A pair of uh, safe trend, I believe. I don't know what they used to look like. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll just say 12-inch lights and 24-inch plates of those incandescent signals because they are incandescent. That's all I know. Another 24-inch plates and 12-inch lights of incandescent signals facing... East, aka known as the signals on top of the front cantilever lights, uh, front overhead cantilever lights, I would say. Oh god, this is bad. And another pair on the back side of the cantilever, on the bridge part, that's facing, like, horizontally, you know? Yeah, horizontally. 12 inch lights, 24 pairs, I mean, 24 inch plates facing west. That's the back side of the overhead cantilever. Moving on with the gate mask that also has a, one pair. Like for each gate mask that's right in front of the cantilever. Has one pair of incandescent signals. Oh hey, I think I can see it. Oh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a little poor quality. I, I assume it might be like a Western Rail Supplies or something. Safe train, I don't know. Uh, or maybe a Western Colonnades, I don't I, I don't exactly know. But they are incandescent is all I know. Twelve inch lights, twenty four inch plates, huh, <laughs> same plate inch, huh? Boy. And up there, I assume it must have used to be a Western Colonnades mechanical bell. I don't know. I mean I guess Western Colonies is probably the most common thing for pop from mechanical bell, so and NEG incandescent gate lights. Moving on to this side of the crossing. Um, yeah, the south side of Jones Loop. The classic style. Sorry, my voice is like this. I'm, I feel like I'm getting tired or something. I don't know. Oh, God, this isn't good. Okay. Uh, no, no. Yeah, th this is... This is the futuristic stuff of the classic. So, I guess we can do it from right here. I know they are... Um, I know these two sides. I'm sorry I have to spoil it. But they're 12-inch lights, 24-inch plates. Both 
the ones on the front lights of the can of the cantilever bridge, and and the and the and the base of the cantilever facing both facing west are incandescent. And the and the back lights of the bridge, of the cantilever facing east, for instance, are also the same inch, same lights. Um, <clears throat> same same inch of the plates and lights, AK twelve inch lights, twenty four inch plates of incandescent signals. And the ones on the gate mast, they're twelve inch lights, twenty four inch plates. The mechanical valve have no idea. For all I assume, I think it might be okay. It has no hooks, or whatever they are. So, with with all in all, if you could tell the difference, Safe Trans and Wapco mechanical bells are the ones that don't have anything on the sides, like hooks, for instance, or anything that could that makes it look like you want that gives you the option to like open it and stuff, you know. Yeah, that's that's when you could tell they're either a Safe Trans or a Wapco, which I assume it might be like a Safe Trans. I mean this. Considering how silver and shiny it looks, I assume I highly declare it might be like some type of safe train. And the gate lights up on top of the south southern side of the crossing is also like any G incandescent. Because remember, folks, like I like I said in multiple of my videos, well, unless you're new here, if you see the gate lights sticking to the left or right, then we then you can tell they are incandescent. But when they're like when they're facing straight, like right behind the gate, that's when you can tell they are LEDs. But those are incandescent. Oh no, my sword is running out. What the frick? But yeah, the 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 gate mass is 12 inch lights and 24 inch plates of this incandescent signals. And um, that's pretty much about it for the classic Jones Blue Crossing. Here we have an upgrade to this day. Yeah, it's been like that for 10 years now. We're probably over that. So yeah. It hasn't been here this short, so keep that in mind. Well, anyways, that was today's info, but digitally. This was and this was uh, reviewed by Jordan M. And this is today's date. I don't have to say it. I'm sorry, because sword is running out. All right, I'll see you guys next. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.